It is a relief for the children of Patrice Lumumba. The Brussels Indictments Chamber has decided to include into the investigation file the transcripts of a parliamentary inquiry commission that took place 22 years ago behind closed doors. The children of Patrice Lumumba had lodged a complaint in 2011 in order to shed some light into the death of the first Congolese Prime Minister in 1961. It's very important because what we're looking for in the end, what the family is looking for, is the truth, and we're fighting for the right to the truth. At some point we would like to know all the elements that led to this horrific murder, and we hope that with this confidential information we'll have additional information that will help us complete the case. A little over six months after the independence of Belgian Congo, Patrice Lumumba was assassinated with complicities from within the former colonial power. 22 years ago, a parliamentary inquiry commission concluded to Belgium's moral responsibility. This was not enough for Patrice Lumumba's family, who lodged a complaint in 2011 in order to shed some light onto these complicities from within the former colonial power. When the courts decided a few months ago to seize the transcripts of this parliamentary commission, the president of the chamber decided to have them sealed until a justice decision that was taken this Wednesday. Parliament cannot betray the secrecy of debate when committees of inquiry are organized behind closed doors. And so this was the issue on the agenda. But there are two conflicting truths. On one hand, the judicial truth, which seeks to shed light. And on the other hand, the parliamentary truth, with the organization of parliamentary work. There are rules of procedure that are backed up by the law, and they had to be respected. Today, only two of the protagonists of this case are still alive. And with every day that goes by, the chances of them being indicted and prosecuted are rapidly diminishing.